So, I've been playing a CTM or Complete the Monument map called uh, Ragecraft 2 uh, by Helicio. And I've noticed that like two or three times I have died and lost all my stuff and just got so upset I uh, quit for a while. And I came back, of course, but I did do the famed Rage Quit. And I was thinking a cool way that uh, map makers could tell how many times the player has done that for their maps. So all you need to do is have a hopper clock here and just these two command blocks and like three scoreboards. So you're going to want scoreboard objectives add um, quits to see how many times a player quits and that's the objective uh, objective is stat dot leave game since I already have it. Uh, another is deaths, and this will be tracking, uh, it will be using the stat dot uh, time since death, which will count up as soon as a player dies. Um, and also scoreboard objectives uh, add rage quit rage quit and this will be a dummy objective and rage quit oh I, uh, that was supposed to be rage quits that it can be either one it just make sure it's the same in the command blocks all right so this is first powering this command block which is giving uh, one point uh, to all players that have a score of deaths of 200. Oh, that's like the time after they've died of at least, uh, that's like 10 seconds? Yeah. Of at most 10 seconds. So it's in between 0 to 10 seconds after they've died and quits of at least 1. So if they quit in between the 10 seconds after they die. So I'll show that in a second. And this here is just setting. Um, any player with uh, of at least one quitting <laughs> back down to zero, so resetting their quits objective. And so I'll just show how that works. So as you can see here, I'm going to game mode two and die, and I can either go to title screen now or just respawn, and then within ten seconds, like say, okay, I'm done. I don't want to play this right now. And then when I come back, you will see that on the side I have Rage Quits, a score of 1. Now obviously if you were doing this in a real map, you probably wouldn't want to show that for the player because then they'd know not to Rage Quit. So you might want to like keep it hidden uh, for until the very end, after the player finished the map, it'll uh, do the scoreboard uh, show on the sidebar that objective. Anyway, something kind of cool that, that maybe CTM makers or adventure map makers that, I don't know, they might like it. 